Good morning, students. And uh, today we have uh, finished uh, with a discussion of uh, the chapter on the face effect, and we'll be doing the question answers. Extra questions also I'll be sharing with you. You can just go through and we'll discuss those also in the classroom. Right? So, what have we understood from this chapter? It is about societies and towards people who are different. Yeah? And it is not their uh, fault that they are like this. But again and again, because we are so obsessed with our idea of perfection, that people who are slightly different make them realize again and again that there is something wrong with them. So, in the case of Mr. Lady Lamb or Mr. Lamb, he has a tin leg, but yes, he's brave enough to face the world. He doesn't care for what people see and what people talk about him. We have a young boy, Derry, or Derek, and he has a burnt face, as we have been discussing this past week. But he does not want to meet people because will behave when they see him makes him just uh, want to remain isolated. Now this is not a nice uh, approach which society has. So it's very important that we change our opinion, we change the way we look at the world because as Mr. Lamb says that the world has a whole face, the world has not changed. If something has happened with us, why should we give up? We should have the courage to be a part of this world. No one has a right to isolate us. No one has a right to take us out of this world. And if we are there creating negativity for ourselves, the world is already such a bad place, such a like what a sad place where people are ready to dominate the people who consider themselves to be weak. Okay. Now, what has happened in the when uh, Derek meets Mr. Lamb. He's really impressed. He's really encouraged by his talks because nobody has ever spoken to him like that. Everybody has just made him, you know, like think that there is something wrong with you, how you live, how you get a survive, how you need to face the world. Right? But Mr. Lamb tells him that there's nothing wrong with you. Why are you so negative? Why are you so sad? And why are you so concerned of what the people think? Right? So Derek is encouraged. He feels very optimistic and he has decided that he would like to live in a place where there is a garden like this, is a house like this. Right? And Mr. Lamb's house, as we have discussed, does not have what curtains because he feels what do curtains do? They shut out the world, they shut out light, they shut out the view. And he does not want to have that in his house. So he does not have curtains. He does not take out the weeds. In fact, uh, near the wall of his garden, he has grown weeds because he feels that yes, all the plants are the same. Nature has created everything the same. So why should we differentiate? Just because one is a grass and the other is very pretty, we should give that much importance. And this is his philosophy in life. Also. Now, at the end of the story, we see Jerry going home. His mother is not happy, and she says, "Although we are new here, but we know." About that man who lives alone in the house in the big garden, which is not going over there. But Derek has decided that if today I do not take this decision, if I do not gather the courage to go, I will never be able to do it again. Right? So he gathers courage and goes back. And uh, what does he find? Yes, he finds uh, Mr. Lamb lying on the couch. Right? He was plucking apples. And he has a tin leg, it's very difficult for him to climb the ladder and cut the apples. But uh, he still kept on doing that. But this time, unfortunately, what happened? He fell from the ladder and he is not. Right? So Jerry goes over there and uh, the person who was that like, inspired him brought about a change, even when it was time. So he finds a person is not there. Okay? So what is going to happen? Will Derek still overcome his you know, approach towards life and become a better person? Or will he become a negative or sad person? Let's discuss the question answers and let me hear your valuable inputs. Right? Yes. What is it that draws Derek towards this spite of himself? 
So what are the qualities of this lamp that attract dead? What are the qualities? Yes, can you tell me what are the qualities Mr. Lamb has? What about his nature? What kind of person is he? He is optimistic. He has a positive approach towards life. Yes, what else? Is he afraid of people? Does he want to remain secluded and isolated? No, he wants to meet people. He's not afraid of them and he does not mind them calling him names. Right? So, in fact, he's got used to it. So, he thinks, yes, the boys, they come here and they spend time in his garden and he has no problem. Isn't it? Right? So, then, what about his approach towards things in life? What does he think about? Like, he talks about the apples, he talks about the bees, he talks about the weeds, the flowers, and he says that everything has importance in our life. Right? So we should not isolate them just because one thing is useful or one thing is pretty. We should not discard the other thing. Right? So he wants that, yes, let us accept the beauty and the beast, which is there in every aspect of our life. So what we think as beautiful might not be beautiful for somebody else. So it's not bother. But what, what we should not be forced to think that these flowers are beautiful. Flowering ones, the moons, the other ones are different, the others are females. No, everything is important, right? So, what about his approach towards the bees? What does he think? So, yes, he thinks that some people they find it very annoying when they hear the bees buzzing, but he does not find the buzzing of the bees annoying. What does he find? It? Right? So he says he has bees buzz, but when he doesn't clearly the buzzing, it becomes a humming the sound. And so the bees sing. So we have here this approach towards nature. He teaches, uh, you know, like people to come out of their negativity, the self pity, right? And that is what he tells daily. Why, why do you want the people to talk about your face? Why do you want people to you know, keep on talking about the problem that you have? The more you talk about the problem, the more you're going to. Be dominated by it. So, why can't you need a normal life? Which is very, very true. It tells if you have a burnt face, you, you are complete otherwise, you're not a healthy individual. You can't face the challenges of life. Right? Now, in which section of the play does Mr. Lamb display signs of loneliness and disappointment? What are the ways in which the Lamb tries to overcome these feelings? So when Mr. Lamb says, yes, they come and uh, they don't come again, the boys he talks about, they come to the apples, but then some, when they see him or they come to the home that he is here in his house, so they go away, right? And uh, so how does he overcome that? He spends time, he plucks the apples, he makes jam from the honey, he makes toffee, and he looks uh, at everything with a different perspective. He finds beauty, the spider webs he talks about, everything which is there, the grass, the weeds, everything in his house, he's able to find beauty. In that, he's able to find happiness. Yes? Anybody would like to share something else? Would you? Now, the actual pain or inconvenience caused by a physical impairment is often much less then the sense of animation felt by the person with disability. What is the kind of behavior that the person expects from others? Can you talk on this? Actual pain or inconvenience caused by a physical impairment is often much less than the sense of animation felt by the person with disability. What is the kind of behavior that the person expects from us? Yes, so if a person has a disability, has a problem, once again, it is society. It is, the problem is not so severe, but how society isolates that person. How the society makes people think that, see, you are now no longer a useful part of society. That alienation, alienation, separation. 
to make them apart, to make them separate. That is what creates problems. Okay. Now, when you look around, this is very, very important. Can you just tell me here how much do you think our society is there? All the things around us, our buildings, forget about our attitude, that is going to take a long time to change. We are bad, but attitudes are there very bad. And when we look around us, what about the buildings, what about our malls, what about our hospitals, schools, banks? How are they equipped to deal with handicapped people? Can you just tell me, any one of you? How are they equipped? What are the things that should be there? Let's just say someone has a problem in walking, right? So, like if you have stairs, what should be there for that person? Yes? What, what should be there? What, what the changes need to be made? Look at the public transport. What can be done to make it adaptable? What? Yes, anyone would like to give the answer? What can we do? We need more ramps. We need ramps should be there everywhere in all the buildings, right? Someone has to do, you know, like, yes, a wheelchair, elevators, yes, elevators, they should be there, isn't it? What are the buses here? So the person already has a problem, perhaps we step to climb up. How can we change that? Why do we have a lower step? So that it is easier for them. Can't we have a separate space where they can sit? Right? Yes. So once again, we talk about separation. But let us make them feel comfortable. That yes, if you're know, traveling on a bus should not be a problem for you. So going on public transport should not be a problem for you. That you can manage independently. So our society, it can be much better if we are there making these people come out of their separation, making them comfortable in the society. That the society has accepted them. So we have the things here, right? Yes, uh, so uh, our, uh, you know, entrances should be such, especially you know, about public transport, you have your shopping malls, right? Your banks, your institutions, organizations, all of them. So it should be equipped here. Right, so what is the kind of behavior that the person expects? Does that person expect your sympathy? Does he? No. That person does not expect sympathy. What does that person expect? That person expects understanding. Yes. And if we are able to understand that person's need, understand the requirements of the person, in our schools also, it is very, very important to incorporate changes so that we are able to give a comfortable environment. But most importantly, right, when we have made changes in our life, we have made changes in our infrastructure to welcome, then only this barrier will break. So it's very, very you know, necessary here that we should welcome Everyone in our lives, you should not segregate just because someone has a burnt face or a broken leg, right? So this is very wrong, right? So this is exactly a reflection of society. This is what we do. We isolate them, we show our sympathies and that's it. We want that to do anything. Now, will Delhi get back to his old seclusion? Or will Mr. Lamb's brief association affect a change in the kind of life he will lead in the future? Yes, can you give me an answer to this one? Can you give me an answer, please? Do you think that Derry will become a better person? Do you think that Derry will become a stronger person? Yes. On. Give me the answer. Yes. Where are we sleeping? Where are we lost? Are we in the class? Will Terry get back to his old seclusion? So he had come across this person in his life who 
was a mentor, who was a guide, but now he is not there. Who is going to love him in that way? Who is going to tell him the beautiful, you know, things about life? Who is going to encourage him? Who is going to give him courage? So, if uh, uh, Mr. Lamb is not there, do you think Delhi will once again become negative? He will uh, go back into his shell, stay away from people, or do you think he has the courage? To face the world, what do you have to say? Yes, who is Derry? Pyle, give me the answer, please. Who is Derry? Who is Derry? Yes, Abhishek. Come on, give me the answer. Who is Derry? You can text me if you don't want to speak. Ankit, who is Derry? Do you remember which chapter we're doing? Yes, Ruchika. Yes, well done, Malik. Malik has given me the answer that Derry is a young boy whose one side of the face is burnt. Right? And yes, so he had acid on his face. But what has that acid resulted in? That he has lost his confidence, he has lost his strength to face the world. And it is also because the world is also like that. Yes. Why was Derry with Mr. Lamb? Why was Derry with Mr. Lamb? Come on, give me the answer. Why, Mansi? Give me the answer. Why was Derry with Mr. Lamb? Mansi, are you there in the classroom? Yes, Gitesh, can you tell me? Ishan, give me the answer. Pulkit, why was Derry with Mr. Lamb? Did he really come to meet him? Or it just happened by chance? How did Derry come to meet Mr. Lamb? And here am I talking about values and things that you need to know, but you don't even know textual things. Yes, how did Daddy come to meet Mr. Lamb? Anybody who knows the answer, raise your hand and give me the answer. Did you know Mr. Lamb? Yes, God bless you, Molly. Very good. Yeah, he came to Mr. Lamb's uh, house thinking that it was empty. And actually, he wants to hide from people. Daddy does not interact with people. He does not want to meet people. And he thought this house is empty. And the garden was looking like it's not being cared for. And there were no curtains on the windows. So he thought there's nobody in the house. But when he went inside, he met Mr. Lamb. Yes, Pulkit, can you repeat the answer? Can you tell me this answer? Tell me the answer. Why do you think Mr. Lamb is motivating Derry? Why is Mr. Lamb motivating Derry? Yes, Sabindar, Akriti, and Molly. That's it. Or here. Four students of my class will give me answers. That's it. Hanji Mohit, Lagan, what about you? To encourage him, what does he want to teach him? What does he want to teach him? Why is it neat? Yes, very nice, very nice. Good answer, Sarinder. Right? So, yes, it is to make him face people, to make him face society, to make him realize that there is nothing wrong with you. You are perfectly okay. If there is something wrong, that is with Mr. or with the world, with the society. Yes, so it's very important here that you should learn all those things. Yes, sir. Right. Uh, what about uh, Gitesh? Gitesh, are you going to give the answer or not? 
Yes, he does not want the young boy to shut himself from the world because of his physical appearance. Very nice answer, Agriti. Thank you so much. And uh, right, uh, yes, sir. It is because he wants to motivate him. He wants to give him that courage to face the world, to make him realize that there is nothing wrong with him. He is perfectly healthy. Yes, and he should enjoy the blessings of life. Once again, here, just because something has happened to us, right? We should not give up. And the world will continue reminding us, but we need to turn a deaf ear to such people and keep on with our work. And there will be definitely one day when they will, you know, like realize, yes, that they have been wrong and uh, see that, uh, make people change their approach. It's very, very important. We still have a long way to go, but when we look around us, when we see people here, and at times we realize that people are so brave, so courageous, given the right motivation, or sometimes it is something within. Sometimes even normal healthy individuals are not able to achieve so much in life as people with right a disability or a shortcoming. And that is so inspiring, isn't it? And then we realize that what are we doing here in this world? We are just here, right? Just enjoying our life and just, okay? But when we look around us, and I have shared with you a couple of videos, right? This uh, right relating to the same concept to gather the courage. Once again, people are going to stare at you once or twice, but after that, they will accept you. And I've given you the example one earlier also. I'm saying again and again, right here. Remember, you should visit it, mommy. How the skunk, mother skunk knew. I, I don't need to change my child's smell. The animals might run away from him initially. Right, they will not uh, be near a skunk before, but with the passage of time, the animals will get used to it. Right, they'll get used to the foul smell. So once again here, of course, making the skunk change the smell of roses is not going to solve the situation. We go and hide, we go and run away from society is not the answer. We have to stand up and face the world. Yes, the world is complete. So why should we not enjoy the beauty, the blessings which we have been given? Right, and as Manika said, yeah, I have to persuade him to develop a positive attitude and move forward in life. Very good, very nice. They talk about me. Who are they here? According to uh, Derry, they talk about me. Who are they? Bhavneet, can you give me the answer? Who are they? They talk about me. People talk about him. And later on, he also talks about his parents. Parents, right? Yes, that when they think he's upstairs and he's not listening, but he's heard them talking about him. They're showing their worry. They're showing their concern. Okay, right? Yes, so, yeah. And why are they concerned about that? Because they're his parents. They know that society is so bad right now. We are there taking care of him. And what is going to happen later on in his life? How is he going to earn a living? How is he going to survive? How is he going to manage? These are things which are a big concern that parents have. Okay? So once again, yes, here with a brave face, with a, a brave attitude, we have to face the problems of life. And uh, of course, we can turn on our videos here to talk in the class. That would be nice and much better and more interactive. Okay? Yes, here, uh, yeah, her, her son has also joined us today. Okay, that's nice. Yes. So anyone, any doubt of this chapter? I'll be sharing extra questions with you all. We'll be discussing those questions also. Okay? Right. 